welcome back to my channel. So today I am in a new spot. I'm actually in the same room. I just moved everything over to the other side of the room. So now I've got a little bit better of a background and things are a little bit nicer. Um, I've still got a lot of redecorating I want to do. We only just moved into this house back in June. So expect things to change a little bit in the next coming months, but at least for now, it's a little bit prettier behind me. A little bit more pleasing to the eye, right? So anyway, today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to fill in your eyebrows. It's going to be a series that I'm going to be doing on how to apply makeup for the different parts of your face. So today we're doing eyebrows and then I'll be having videos on, you know, the different sections of application. So concealer, foundation, nose contour, all of those kinds of things. So I'm starting with the eyebrows though because I think eyebrows are incredibly important. It's probably the one thing that I really have to do before I leave the house. If almost nothing else, I will probably fill in my brows. So I wanted to start with that. I mentioned it a million times before. I fill in my brows with the JCAT Beauty Perfect Duo Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. There are a lot of options though for different things that you can fill in your brows with. Um, NYX makes a really good brow pencil. Their micro brow pencil if you want something with a skinnier tip because the JCAT Beauty tip is a more thick tip. Let's see. So if you want something finer, I do recommend the NYX one. Um, I tried the Anastasia ones while I was at Sephora. I wasn't really a fan. I thought they were too stiff and too dry. But if that's what you're looking for, they do make the Brow Wiz, which is more thin tip, and the Brow Definer, which is more thick like this one. I personally recommend the thicker ones because you can fill in more at once. But if you really, really want to get thin hair like strokes, you might be better off going with a thinner micro type of pencil. But really just go ahead and try some different ones out. Um, go to Sephora, swatch some things, um, read some reviews. I just really highly recommend this JCAT Beauty one because it is creamy. It blends really well, but it's not, it's not so creamy that it slips around and it will help keep your hairs in place to a certain extent. Um, although if you really want something that's gonna stick your hairs down, you might wanna use an extra brow gel with this, which on days where I need that for some particular reason, I do use an extra product, but we'll get into that. So let's go ahead and get started with the actual tutorial part of this video. A lot of brow pencils will come with the spoolie, which is absolutely crucial. If your brow pencil does not come with a spoolie, you can get them for dirt cheap from a lot of different sources. I do have an extra one that I got from e.l.f. for I think this was only a dollar, so they're good and useful to have on hand in addition to the one that's on your brow pencil anyway. So you want to start out by brushing up your brow hairs and get them all aligned in the correct direction so that you know what you're working with. You also do want to make sure that your brow is neat and defined, that all the hairs that shouldn't be there have been plucked out. I will go ahead and do that at least once a week, if not more. My eyebrow hairs do tend to grow back pretty quickly, so often I will need to do it every three or four days, but at the very least, I will take care of plucking out the extra hairs on the weekend every, like, Saturday. You can obviously go and get them waxed. You can go and 
get them threaded. Those are options too. I'm just a super perfectionist and I don't want anybody else doing that. I want to control the shape myself. So I take care of it on my own. So after you've brushed the hairs into place, we are going to take our brow pencil and I start at the front and I will go right at the bottom of the brow and draw a line defining how I want the bottom shape to be. And then I'll go back in with the spoolie and brush it up to kind of blend it out a little bit so that we don't have a super harsh line there. Then I'll go ahead and continue to fill in the tail end of the brow all the way to the end. Being careful once I get to the end to not make it too thick. That is one of the downsides of having the thicker brow pencils is it can be kind of hard to stay within the lines on the thinner end of the brow. Then once I've completed the tail end of the brow, I will start to work my way back towards the front, but this time going along the top of the brow until I almost get to the front, but not completely. And then once I've completed all of that, see how I've got this kind of blank spot here? That's when I'm going to start at the line that I created and just carefully, lightly fill in the patchy spots until it looks like a normal brow shape. And lastly, I'm just gonna brush over it with the spoolie one last time to blend everything out and make sure that I didn't miss any areas that I want to look filled in. And then I'm going to repeat the same process on the other eye. The line to define the bottom. And brush it up to soften it a bit. Fill it in all the way down to the tail end. And see, it's really easy to go, but it's really also super easy to clean up. So I'm not too concerned with that. And I'm going to continue to bring it back to the front of the brow, going along the top line. Right until I get to the bald area. And then I'm just going to lightly fill in the entire sparse area. This is like my trouble brow. It's so bald and none of the hairs actually grow in the right direction. Which makes it a lot harder to get looking nice. And then I'm just going to brush all that out. And then I'm going to use um, the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 3. I'm going to use this to set the brow. And like I was saying, I don't do this on a daily basis, this step. I only do this step if 
I know that I'm going to have like a long day and I really need them to stay. And there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and please subscribe to my channel. I love you. Bye.